In this section, what we want to do is show you where you can get side pressure so you can press up uh, panels. Uh, we have a customer who uh, wanted to press up actually uh, flooring, decorative flooring, where he had uh, three pieces that he wanted to attach to a three-quarter or a three-eighths inch substrate. And so what was worked out is he lays up his three pieces on his substrate and then he, he puts it on a sled like this. Then the whole thing is put into the bag. And then on the side, to give additional side pressure, we put a stick like this so you have more side pressure pressing against your thin pieces. In this particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to glue up a couple of uh, panels, but we're not going to use the substrate. And we're going to show you two different methods. One, where we put a piece on the side, and the other, where we're going to wedge our pieces in with a wedge to give you side pressure also. Uh, this is for cases where you have different widths. So let's get set up for this. Here I have uh, different width pieces, and, and this is uh, designed for those that are doing uh, irregular width pieces, so that when you come to your four foot width, for example, uh, you may not have exactly four feet. And so you want to get one that's going to overhang a little, and then you just squeeze in this wedge. Now, what the wedge does, obviously, is gives you the side pressure, and it actually causes a little buckling up, which is fine, because when we put this in the press, it's going to get pressed down flat. You have almost a ton of pressure per square foot here, so we have about uh, six tons of pressure going down on this, so it'll come out good and flat. I've made my sled, all right, with a substrate. I've got it edged on two sides. I've rounded over my edges, and this allows me to push my pieces in. Uh, straight so that they butt up and I have my my shape that I want and now uh, when I put it in in the press and pull vacuum I'll get pressure down here I have enough side pressure from from this that I don't need pressure from the uh, the bag so what we're going to do is we're going to glue this one up and put it in and then we're going to glue this one in and put it in on top to show you that you get side pressure also. Uh, you can do multiple pieces on, on the, in the same frame press or bag. You just have to make your total setup so that what you're gluing is slightly higher than the sled. And, and that way the top sled now will press down on the uh, bottom pieces and press them flat and as we go along you you'll see uh, how this works so now I'm just going to glue them up we're ready now we're going to put the second one on I put a piece of plastic between them because I don't want to stick them uh, one to the other The frame press is obviously a better uh, suited to this than a bag because I could have laid my pieces, especially if you're doing a 4 by 8 or a big sheet, you just lay them up in place and close the lid when you're done. This is my side piece. It's going to give me more side pressure uh, than just these thin pieces here. We pressed this down so the bag didn't tent away. It came down and hit in the corners here, so I'm getting more side pressure. You, you have to look at pressure based on where vacuum is being applied. These are only a quarter inch uh, wide pieces. This is a one inch wide piece. So I'm applying pressure which is uh, four times what the quarter inch would apply. So we're all tight, we'll just let this uh, dry and we'll, we'll take it out and we'll see what it looks like. It's been a couple of hours so we can take it out now. One of the things I forgot to mention earlier is that 
if your pieces are not even, if they're not all the same thickness, you can't do the stacking very well because some of the pieces won't get pressed down. So if, you, if they are uneven, put a mat in between so it'll compress and then everything will get pressure. Here's our panel. Here's the other one. On these, of course, the, uh, the quality of joint somewhat depends on how parallel your pieces are. These were just cut on a table saw. They didn't go through a joint or anything like that. And uh, the joints look uh, pretty good. Obviously, it's a stiff panel. Uh, it's staying together without any problem.